Labor justifies strike, says Nigerians living on the edge. On the 31st of May, the workers' organs in the country declared a nationwide strike beginning on Monday, June 3rd, 2024, over the government committee's inability to agree on a new minimum wage and reversal of the electricity tariff hike. You're welcome to Niger Anchor News. I am Abigail. The organized labor has justified its industrial action, saying Nigerians, especially workers, were living on the edge, which led to the declaration of a nationwide strike. Both NLC and TUC said the current minimum wage of 30000 could no longer cater for the well-being of an average Nigerian worker, lamenting that not all governors are paying the current wage award, which expired in April 2024, that was five years after the Minimum Wage Act of 2019 was signed by former President Mohamed Buhari. Labour also said the federal government was offering workers slave wage amidst excruciating hardship. It also lamented the galloping inflation marked by unprecedented food inflation of 40% and general inflation of 33% that have left Nigerians, especially workers, currently living just on the edge. There is no gain saying the fact that Nigerians, especially workers, are currently living just on the edge. A modern joint statement by NLC and TUC leaders Joe Ajero and Festos Osifo reads, In addition to the historicity of slave wages marked by the continued downturn in the national economy, massive devaluation of the Naira, removal of government subsidies, increase in taxation, astronomical hike of the tariff of critical utilities and the combo siege of collapsed public infrastructure and insecurity all over the country. Life has become a Hobbesian reality in Nigeria, short, nasty and brutish. While the federal government offers a very paltry sum, which in real inflation and narrow value, is far below the current national minimum wage, in one word, backward increase of the national minimum wage government has shown a huge appetite for profligacy well as usual a lot of nigerians have reacted to this news since yesterday it has been making waves around the internet and all over the country so here are a few reactions and i shall be taking them briefly adewale from lagos tweeted saying i support the strike 100 percent the economic policies have pushed many nigerians into extreme poverty it's about time we made our voices heard. A Facebook user by name Chinelu from Abuja posted, The strike is necessary. Inflation is skyrocketing and the government seems indifferent to our suffering. This is the only way to get their attention. Uche from Potakot commented on his Instagram saying, While strikes are disruptive, what choice do we have? The cost of living is unbearable and the government's promises are unfulfilled. We need change now. Musa from Kano tweeted, The strike might be the wake-up call the government needs. The situation is there and we are barely surviving. Kudos to the labor unions for standing up for us. And lastly from Ngozi from Enugu State, she shared on a local news forum saying, Nigerians are indeed living on the edge. This strike is a response to the government's failure to address our plight. We deserve better. These reactions reflect widespread frustration with economic hardship and support for the strike as a means to compel government action on critical issues such as inflation, fuel subsidy removal, and unmet promises. Now over to you viewers. What's your own take about this new turn of events happening currently in Nigeria? What do you have to say about this? We look forward to having your opinion in the comment section. Stay glued to this channel and Niger Anchor News to stay connected for more news updates.